Hi everyone, welcome to 2021. Here is a watercolor tribute I made for this year and a little process video to go with it. I started with a digital sketch that was later transferred onto the watercolor paper using a pencil in a very light manner. And then as usual I set it with thin watercolor outlines. I prefer these to be in red color. I'm not entirely sure why. It's just creates a very nice multi-layer tint when we start layering the colors. There's a lot going on in this painting, but the composition center is, of course, the bull, because of that's whose year it is. And we also have this cheeky little guy who's uh, serving the bull some delicious treats, which I think are sake and, and a giant soup dumpling. As usual, a fish and a beetroot featured as well, and my new favorite character, with a naked mushroom man. Oh, and a pigeon. After the outlines are done, I proceed with um, filling this with color. I use a medium brush for this and I like muted, sort of slightly vintage colors. I'd say charcoal maybe, blues and teal and a bit of brick reds, but also a bit of yellow and pink because, you know, there's still some hope for this year. Slowly filling in little objects here and there. It's, um, it's a, quite a satisfying process. I have also masked out some things. For example, here, as you can see, I masked out uh, number 2021 so that I can freely paint without being afraid of disturbing the digits in the middle. Here I go removing the masking glue. I've only started using it last year, but I've grown quite fond of it. It's, uh, it's, it's pleasant to fiddle with. Here are just some, some of the last bits of color here and there before I start working on the detail. I do think that filling in the detail is probably my favorite part of creating any sort of watercolor painting because I'm using these tiny brushes and I'm filling in many missing bits with it and adding definition basically. I 
It does take a while to slowly go through every character and object, but to me it's really worth it. I think it's the detail that makes the painting pop at the end. Here's some definition added to this root vegetable's firm butt. I decided that this painting is quite special, so I might as well add a little bit of shine here and there. I have this um, lovely sparkly watercolor paints I got in Japan uh, last year. Wait, no, two years ago now. And I'm just using a little bit of them to add these thin layers of shine here and there. It doesn't really show on a scanned image, but when you look at the original from different angles, it really becomes a little bit special. That's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Happy New Year and hopefully it's gonna be a better one.